we third average cost of capital. In last classes or in previous classes, we did cost of equity and cost of debt. Right? This is called WAP. And it is denoted as KW. KW. So in the introductory class, I said there's a formula for calculating WAP. And the formula is WAP equals cost of equity multiplied by equity over equity plus debt. Hmm? Plus cost of debt, which must be post tax, multiplied by debt over equity plus debt. Right? So, with the average cost of capital, is a rate that represents the cost of funds. So, you know, I said for cost of debt, cost of equity, it is usually estimated from the point of view of the investor. So, most of the time, this one is from the point of view of the company, the company of concern, the company in question. So, if a company is financed by both equity and debt, you need to know the average cost of funds using the cost of equity and the cost of debt that you computed individually. Then you multiply it by the weight of equity in the total capital. Multiply the cost of debt by the weight of debt in the total capital. That is the proportion of debt in the total capital. You understand, so I know that the English is not hitting, but you get it. So you use better average cost of capital to discount projects, to discount an investment opportunity. So basically, it's just putting the cost attached to debt finance and the cost attached to equity finance. Multiplying it by their relative proportion and determining a particular rate. So let's just go into solving questions and any other explanation along the line to explain. So this question says Babalapo has 1 million loan notes in issue. It's better to start writing as you are reading. You know, Babalapo has 1 million naira notes in issue. That one is debt now. Loan notes, debt. Hmm? 1 million naira loan notes. 1 million naira. Loan notes in issue quoted at that is trading at mm, 50 naira per 100 naira. And now we now value up the question on the screen so that we can all see it and see the flow. And they also have 625,000 preference shares. Mm, 625,000 preference shares quoted at 40 cobo and they have 5 million ordinary shares mm, equity. They have 5 million, not 5 million naira, 5 million, 5 million ordinary shares, quoted at 25 kobo per share. Wow, this one is 40 kobo per share. Now, what did they say? They said the cost of capital, now they said the cost of capital of those securities are 9%, 12%, and 18% respectively. Respectively means in the order they gave you. So, it means KD is what? 9%. KP, cost of preference shares, is what? 12%. And KE, cost of equity, is what? 18%, respectively. The capital structure is to be maintained. <coughs> then it says tax rate is 25%. So T is 25%, that's 0.25. Then I said estimate the weighted average cost of capital. What should come to your mind first is the formula. Don't go and start looking for where's my cost of the formula. Then you start ticking out what do I have in the formula, what do I not have in the formula. Don't waste time on it. It's pack, 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 fast, fast, you do it. So look at you have KP, you have KP, you have KD, right? So because this formula is looking at only KD and KD, you, you add KP, right? So KP to go what? KP, so you had preference shares um, estimation to. So now will be KP times what? P over E plus D plus P. That is P in the total capital. So here to have plus P, here to have plus P. You understand? In most cases, you will just equity and debt. But if they give you preference, you do it also. So we already have all our costs. Hmm? Now, did they give us the market value of equity? Because this E means what is the market value of equity over the total market value of their capital, their total capital structure. The market value of debt over the total market value of debt and all of that. So for E, they said equity is 5 million shares at 25 kobo per share. So shares is like the certificate of ownership. So if they have 5 million of it in issue, that is 5 million certificates, I 
give you a certificate, you give me to a tribe couple. I give you a certificate, you give me to a tribe couple. You have 5 million shares times 25 couple. Eh? And the tribe couple is what? 0 0.25 naira. Do you understand? You can write it as 25 over 100. Because you want your values in naira, you don't want it in couple. And that will give you what? 1 million 250 naira. So we already have our. So simple. Now, do we have the value for D? Debt. Do we have our debt value? They didn't give you straight. Hey, the company has an issue. One million naira. So you have value of debt. This is we don't equity. Value of debt is what? One million naira. Hmm? Times fifty over hundred. One million times fifty over hundred, and that's going to give you what? Five hundred thousand naira. Then we have uh, preference shares, right? Value of preference shares. They said they have 625,000 shares. Not Naira, they didn't say Naira. 625,000 shares, 40 cobble per share. So that's 40 cobble, or we'll just say 0 0.4 Naira times 625,000 shares. I don't know that one. Let me do that one. Now. Calculator. 40% times. Calculator. 0.4 times 6 to 5. So that gives us 250,000 Naira. Then you can estimate your work. Just putting all the variables, okay? So you have KW, that's the work. Equals cost of equity. Pick it from here. 18. This space will not be enough. I don't want to. Okay, you can clean this one. Let's clean this, please. Okay, yes. This will be enough. So cost of equity, sorry, mark is equal to cost of equity that's nine percent times equity value one million twenty thousand. Let me just write two hundred fifty because of space here. Over what is the total value? You can go somewhere and calculate the total value. So I'm not writing this plus this plus this. Okay, so that's E plus D plus P twelve fifty plus what is for debt five hundred thousand plus what is for preference two fifty thousand. Hmm. Then you say plus cost of debt, not the cost of debt, nine percent into one minus 0.25. Cost of debt must always be post tax cost of debt times what is your debt um, proportion? What is your debt um, value? 500 over 1250 plus 500 plus 250 hmm? plus continue. Cost of preference share, that's KP. Sorry. Sorry, what, what's your cost of equity? Cost of equity is 18%. What am I doing? 18% cost of equity. Cost of debt is 9%. And cost of preference share is 12%. Hmm? Into cost of preference cost of preference share into Preference value 250 over 1250 plus 500 plus 250. So after putting all of this, you get your work to be 14.4 percent. I'm not going to start punching on this one because I believe that we now have to punch this. We do the bracket first, then you multiply by this, keep down, you get the particular value plus. Open this bracket, multiply by 9, multiply by, open this bracket, multiply by this, you get the particular value, plus, do this bracket, multiply by 2, you get the particular value. When you add everything together, you get 14.4%. So, let's solve another example. This one is easy because they already gave you the cost of equity, and they already gave you the cost of, they gave you the cost of preference. But the only little twist was for you to get the market value, which is just, it being a piece of cake. This one is very, very easy. But we are definitely not done with cost of capital. We are still going to go to project specific cost of capital. So let me just explain that one. So project specific cost of capital is the cost of capital that is used when work cannot be used. Okay. So it's like say a revised work. You know I've said work is used to estimate projects, to estimate investment in a company. Now sometimes Work is useless, it cannot be used, and there are three situations or three um, circumstances or three scenarios that will make your work to be useless. 
Number one, when there is a new line of business, the existing work cannot be used. Maybe a company is manufacturing milk and now they want to start manufacturing school sandals. That's a new line of business. So they can't use the existing work of the company. Number two is when there's a change in capital structure. Maybe there was 70% equity and 30% debt. And now they want to restructure their capital proportion to maybe 50-50. They can't use the existing work, right? The work will definitely change. And the third reason is when there's a significant business operation. Maybe they normally have a particular skill and now they want to step up their skill. Existing work cannot be used. Yeah. So in the next class, we are going to explain better and also solve more examples. Thank you so much.